welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. That sun is really getting me here. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new here. Uh, if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to join me on this YouTube journey. Um, but anyway, guys, we have a lot to do today. I need to declutter, clean, and reset up this basement office slash uh, craft room. Um, it's a hot mess. I need to get rid of a lot of stuff. <sighs> I'm struggling on the motivation to get it done, guys, but I know I need to get it done and get it tackled. And today's going to be that day. Tomorrow might be that day, too. It might take me a few days, but uh, go ahead and come along with me, guys, and let's, let's do this. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're just going to jump right into this. Um, if you guys didn't know, I did make tumblers for a little while, like the glitter tumblers that you can find or see um, on Etsy and stuff like that. I actually did have an Etsy shop for a few years as well, but in December I shut that down and then recently decided that it was time to get rid of all of my tumbler making supplies. So uh, that's a big portion of today's video is just decluttering all of those supplies and then pretty much everything with it. So um, I'm definitely sad to see it go, but happy at the same time that the person that I went to uh, is starting her journey and I think that she will absolutely love it and I'm so excited for her. Stars or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars. So you notice me standing around for a little bit, uh, just kind of looking around. That's because I was feeling extremely like overwhelmed with this project, you guys. Like, I uh, I just didn't know where to start, it kind of got out of hand. Um, the collecting of supplies, I guess, if you will, and yeah, I, I just didn't know where to stand or where to start, so I was just kind of standing, <laughs> looking at everything, taking it all in, deciding what I wanted to keep, what I wanted to get rid of, um, and then eventually I just kind of jumped in. I jumped in and just started doing it. You'll see me go back and forth and back and forth um, on different areas, trying to decide what I wanted to keep, what I was going to get rid of. Um, overall though, I did end up getting rid of probably two-thirds of my items, so I'm actually pretty proud of myself of letting go of things that I have not used in quite a while, even though I didn't want to. Um, but at the same time, I knew that they needed to go because I wasn't going to use them, so. Anyway, we're just kind of decluttering, organizing, again, you'll see me go back and forth between different areas and different items, but eventually, eventually I'll get on track. Hey, I say I'm doing all right, I'm doing just fine, but I'm scattered, scattered, and I cry when you're not around, because it matters, matters, dreaming of your kisses, in the nighttime, knowing what I'm missing, but I feel like, hey, I say I'm doing all right, I'm fine, but I'm scattered, we just friends. I also wanted to make note, those shelves that the glitter are sitting on are so awesome. They are from Ikea. You can actually get the same ones at Target, but they're like double the price at Target. So I actually had them shipped to me. It was like $5 to ship them to me, which is so insanely cheap. In my opinion, um, it made it worth it. So I... I do love those shelves, however, now that I don't have the glitter, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them, but it is what it is, so. Anyway, here I'm just trying to go along and pick off, like, all the little 
pieces of like epoxy that had hardened onto the table. Uh, that was a job in itself. This table definitely collected a lot of epoxy, glitter, and paint over the years. It's a seeping way. Oh, why can't it be you and I? So that's another thing you're gonna see me do a lot of in this video is vacuuming. I felt like every time I got into some little area, I it ended up with junk all over the carpet again. So I vacuumed a lot just because it was starting to bug me. But anyway, I'm just trying to clean off this cube shelf because we are going to move it. I enlist Mia's help for this. Uh, it was much easier to have help moving it than trying to slide it across the carpet on my own. So I'm just trying to clear it off just to make the top a little lighter and then also again to declutter some of the items. You guys, I just want to apologize for the lighting. Like, watching this back, I'm like, oh my goodness, the lighting is terrible. Um, it's a basement, and it was sunny outside, so I don't know really what I was expecting, but the lighting is just terrible, and I apologize for that. But I hope it's not too much of a big deal. Um, yeah, so anyway, again, we're just kind of moving things around here. I cannot tell you how much this opened up the space though, getting rid of that table and then moving the cube shelves over there against the wall as opposed to being in front of my desk. Um, it really just opened up the space. Even just sitting here looking around, I I am just like amazed at how much better the area looks, how decluttered it looks, and open it looks. It definitely made it look much bigger in this basement than what it did with all my crap. <laughs> So tip from Tammy, I like to clean as I go. I do it with cooking, I do it when cleaning, I guess, cleaning, organizing, decluttering. Clean as you clean, right? <laughs> uh, does that even make sense? Oh my goodness, I don't even know where my brain is at. But anyway, um, that was another thing I was doing uh, besides vacuuming. I am definitely going through and just wiping and dusting everything down as we move it. From your bottle, baby Calling it wasted love Wasted love I can't get enough of my baby I'ma be wasted love Wasted love <sighs> Alrighty guys, I'm like feeling so overwhelmed with all my stuff. It's not even funny. Like I literally feel like I could cry right now. Um, I got the shelves moved over there like you guys saw. I kind of went through everything and took pictures. Um, I didn't film that because I needed my camera <laughs> uh, so I could take pictures of everything. And I actually did post all my cut making supplies on Facebook. Um, it'll be nice for whoever gets it because they're getting tons of stuff. Probably thousands of dollars worth of stuff for like 600 bucks. So um it kind of I'm it's like bittersweet like parting with that stuff but at the same time like I know I can't always have it um I really don't use it so better for somebody else that maybe will use it but anyway like I said I'm feeling so extremely overwhelmed um let me flip you guys around so as you can see I kind of went through and wiped everything out reorganized stuff all this is going though um including all my glitters I listed it all We'll see what happens. I need to find somewhere to donate these, though, because they're just not selling. Um, I had them listed for, like, $2. <laughs> so, they're just not selling. I need to pick up all this garbage, though. Um, I still have a lot 
going on. So as you can see, but we're making progress. I feel like we're getting somewhere. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get back, back to work. <laughs> oh, 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 and you don't have to be afraid. I will hold you till the sun comes crashing down. I'm yours until the end of time. So I am just going through and trying to make a space for my aroma beads. I make a lot of car freshies, so um, I have a lot of beads, <laughs> a lot of scented beads, and I decided that I wanted to put them on these shelves to kind of declutter them out of the boxes. So they do have labels on the front of the jars, but to make it easier, I thought I would label the lids of the jars as well. Um, that way I don't have to pull out every single jar to look at the front where the label is. I can just glance at the tops and find the scent that I'm looking for. Fade away and your scars don't, your scars don't Say my name, stay with me till the stars fade away And your scars don't, your scars don't hurt Your scars don't hurt <laughs> After doing all these boxes and everything with these cups I think I've decided well obviously I said I was gonna sell them but I think I'm just gonna box it all up and move it off the shelves I don't know I think that would be I think that would make things a lot easier if I could do it that way but I haven't really decided I'm not 100% sure but I will say whoever recommended me using this little like coffee office coffee uh organizer to organize my stuff for my cup making thank you um i actually really liked it it worked out really well unfortunately um yeah i it's gotta go too i no longer have any use for it you guys this was so funny sidetrack moment here I was going through this box that has been sitting here by the stairs that has like some baskets and other stuff in it and I found like two huge handfuls of cat toys. <laughs> I, They must have like batted them off of the stairs and they fell into the box. I'm sure they were so confused. I'm like, Why, where did my toy go? But anyway, we found them. So Lottie was super happy because all her favorite toys were back. Like we bought her all these new toys again, she thinks <laughs> anyway. but. Anyway, back to cleaning guys. I'm still just trying to box things up and just try to fit things where I can. I just want to say that that's not dirt that you see inside that shelf. That is definitely glitter. You would not believe the amount of glitter that I found everywhere. That was just stuck literally everywhere. It was behind my table on the wall. It was all over the chair, all over in that shelf, like glitter. 
glitter went everywhere. I'm sure everybody will be so happy that I no longer have glitter in the house because it always seemed that there were, they would find glitter everywhere. And anytime I came down in the basement and did work or whatever, I would come upstairs and I would be covered in glitter. So I'm sure my family will be happy that that is no longer an issue. So these days that I was working on this basement, it was absolutely gorgeous outside. Uh, my kids spent like all day, multiple days this past week, just enjoying the outside. And it, you guys, it really made me ready for spring and summer. I am so happy that the warm weather is definitely on its way. I am not a cold weather person. Your girl does not like snow. <laughs> It is just not my thing. You will never hear me complain about the heat of the summer, ever, because it is so much better than the cold and the snow. So, anyway, while my kids were outside enjoying the beautiful weather, I was in here just going to town on my craft room slash office slash basement. But it needed to be done. It was fine. I will definitely be enjoying it, though, this weekend when the weather warms back up again. We did have a little bit of a cold front come through uh today and yesterday but again it's supposed to be like 75 i think here in the next couple days so i'm so excited for that where else or who else uh enjoys the warmer weather i know i do comment down below let me know can't stand to hear more today i'm gonna lock my door and stay inside a way until i'm safe again i have nothing more to put on i'm defeated and withdrawn just trying to understand where it went wrong always believe that nothing good in life is all right guys so i got all my cup stuff boxed up because the girl is going to come pick those up my desk is still a mess, so that's fun, but we're working on it. Uh, I can officially get rid of this. I'm going to donate these water bottles. I just cannot figure out where I'm going to donate them to. So we've basically condensed everything down to these things, cubes, <laughs> uh, these drawers, and then I still have obviously that stuff, but um, yeah, so this is all donate or not donate, I am actually selling this stuff, and then there's the donate, so still got quite a bit going, but it is looking a lot, a lot better. <laughs> we're, we're moving along here, guys, moving along. No one can bring me down, I wanna be where I'm safe inside. Here comes the fun part, guys. We are officially moving on to the desk. Oh, and there was so much. There's so much paperwork in my planners and everything that I needed to go through for the past couple of years. Um, I was finding stuff from like 2018, 2017. I, yeah, I definitely went through a lot. I found a lot that needed to be filed away. I actually found the title to our camper, why it was in all this, this randomness piles instead of put where the other titles of our vehicles are, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I'm happy that I found it because we may or may not be selling it. We haven't quite decided yet. We haven't used it in a couple of years. Um, but what I really love our camper, so I don't know. I don't know if we're going to sell it or not, but I don't know. Anyway, are you guys campers? Do you guys have a camper or do you guys tent camp? We tent camped for quite a few number of years before we got a camper. 
And you guys, I kind of miss the tent. I'm not going to lie. I kind of, I kind of do. But anyway, this was a nice surprise too. I found pictures, my mom and dad's wedding picture, my father-in-law and mother-in-law, uh, my mom and me, you know, um, there was some in there of like my cousins, my sister when she was little and my grandparents. I definitely did not realize that I had all those pictures in there. So I, <laughs> I should have finished going through that, but since it was all pictures, I just zipped it back up for a rainy day. I do not need to go through that and get all emotional <laughs> over old family pictures. So otherwise I would be sitting there all day, probably in tears and everything else, feeling all the emotions. So I needed to get back to work. Uh, this day had already gotten away from me. So back at it, back at it we are. And again, even on the desk, you will see me going back and forth, back and forth to different areas. Uh, there was no method to this madness. I, I just had to start and start somewhere and clean it up and then move it again and clean it up again. It, it literally, it, I did a lot of that uh, these last three days, just going back and forth, back and forth on things. But it is all done now, and I'm so excited for it. So make sure you stay tuned. We're almost to the end, guys. I definitely want to see, um, or I just want you guys to see the difference. I want to hear your reactions. So stay tuned. We're almost there. back on day three however I think this is the last and final day we are doing really really good um everything is pretty much gone except for a few things that I have left to sell um but everything is pretty much gone it is so open in here it is like ridiculously crazy um but anyway I still have to finish up my desk. So yesterday kind of got away with, from me with a bunch of little things. So I only did a very small amount, um, as you guys saw, but today we're going to knock it out and finish this up. But first let me flip you guys around and show you, um, what all is going on. So we got, uh, everything pretty much organized. I'm going to keep this Again, these will be donated. I just have to find somewhere where I can donate them. Um, they're brand new water bottles that I can't sell, <laughs> even though I tried. So, um, and then I will be getting rid of this probably, but for this video, it'll probably stay. Um, these shelves, I might just put pictures or something on for right now. I'm not totally sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, but again, for now, they stay. So, and then... This stays, this stays. This has been cleaned out and organized. These are just kind of like pictures and memorabilia stuff that I really don't know where else to put them. So I need to go today through this cart um, and then these two baskets here. I'm trying to decide what to do with my scraps, if I should just scrap them, <laughs> pun intended, um, or if I should keep them. I haven't fully decided. But I did start down, start wiping down my desk. This portion of my desk is wiped down. And then I need to wipe down the rest of this and get everything dusted and finished up. So again, we're doing pretty good. Pretty excited how things are turning out. Here is kind of an overview and look at how things are going. So let's go ahead and get started. And I will taste every Feels so good when you're in my head. You're the fire, you're the flare. 
so as you can see I had some helpers on this day uh, anybody else's cats get in the way all the time <laughs> my cats are so nosy and they are always in the way um, I'm sure they're like whoa mom wh what's going on <laughs> like what are you doing where's all our our obstacle course going you know uh, <laughs> But they were definitely down here helping. I think they also love looking out these big picture windows that we have in the front of our house. Um, I rarely open the basement one just because I feel like people can really see into my house then. However, I wanted to see out and see the sunshine. So I definitely had it open. Uh, but I love it. I love the big picture windows. And I think the cats really enjoy them as well. But... Anyway, back to decluttering. You guys, I cannot believe I cleared this entire cart off. I'm still trying to decide if I want to keep the cart or not. Um, I put it over in my cell area, but I haven't listed it on Facebook yet because I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to get rid of it. However, I did declutter the entire cart, which I am very, very proud of myself for. Now I do want to note, um, the decluttering process and cleaning process is very good. You know, it's definitely very healthy, very like for your mental health and stuff, just deep declutter items. However, don't go overboard. Don't, don't overdo it. Don't get rid of things that you think you you'll use again because you don't want to, you know, already have it, get rid of it because you just had to declutter it. And then like, oh shoot, you know, I actually kind of needed that. So just keep that in mind when you guys are decluttering. Um, that's definitely something that I've learned through this process. Um, you know, it's good to get rid of things. It's good to clear out things, especially if you aren't using them. But if you think that there's a chance that you might use it, hold on to it for a little bit longer. You can always get rid of it later. Um, but if there's a chance you might use it, you don't want to get rid of it. So just keep that in mind when you guys are decluttering. Yeah. <laughs> Some kind of magic you came into my life And with that bed you give me falling twice Yeah you're an angel and always on my mind I wanna love you like I do While going through these baskets um, actually so first if you didn't know my husband made my desk for me um, I absolutely love it and then we found these baskets that fit like perfectly and kind of act like drawers um, but anyway as I was going through those baskets I was finding like all these punches like paper punches I'm like wow this is so pre cricket <laughs> um, you know I'm like, I don't even use these. Why do I still have them? So I definitely decluttered some of them. Some of them, though, I did keep just because it's not something, you know, I don't really want to start up my Cricut and, or my computer or whatever for that sometimes I'll just reach for the punch. But for the most part, I definitely did not need paper punches anymore. But anyway, now I'm just kind of trying to get all this dust out of here. You know, that's one thing. I love dark colored wood, but it just gets so dusty so fast. Uh, I'm sure part of that is because we need our dock work cleaned out or, you know, whatever um, in addition. But if you guys have dark furniture, I'm sure you guys totally understand what I'm saying. I am feeling so good by this point you guys the end is definitely near and as I'm going through and just cleaning off my desk or dusting my desk and getting things kind of put back together 
I I can see the vision and all the hard work that went into this and getting this room or area decluttered. Uh, it definitely feels really good. But anyway, just a few more minutes here, guys. We're just gonna vacuum one final time here, give it one last good go through, and then I will show you what it looked like before. Give you a little reminder here. Oh my goodness. You guys, I forgot how bad it was. It was really bad. Oh, but look at it. It looks so much better. I'm so excited, guys. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.